see a little piece of history right before our eyes, you and me. Dig in here and search in there, find the treasures everywhere. We'll spend the day like gypsies being free. Come with me on this beautiful day. Find pieces of the past in this journey of today. Hey folks, Gypsy here with Zero Discrimination. Um, I'm at a spot that uh, I've hunted a lot over several years um, with various detectors. And uh, I uh, today I'm gonna try out my brand new uh, AT Super Sniper Coil. It's a four by four tiny coil. Um, to get in between some of the trash. This is a super trashy area uh, with lots of and lots of iron as well. Um, old stuff uh, with a lot of modern trash too mixed in. So um, anyway, going to uh, try that coil out for the first time. All right, I got my first hit. Um, but I don't know if I'll be able to do a live dig, but let me find it here. Where'd it go? Right here. Sorry. It's hitting. It's jumping a little, but it's hitting in the high. It's going up to the high 80s. It's giving me a high tone. So this is something we want to dig. It could be iron, but um, it's right right here so I'm going to let me see if I can try to do a live dig About right here this territory is so rocky I'll probably pile up four or five rocks out of here let's see here check it still getting it right there The pinpointer in there first. Just rock. Okay, Look at all that charcoal in there. Bone. Ooh. Bone. Some glass. Look. Big piece of thick glass. It's old. Let's see. Some more glass. No, there it is. That's what it was. Wow, what is that? It's got some holes up at the top. Not sure, but it looks old. We'll take it and check it out later. We'll get it cleaned up and uh, do a wrap up first find with the Super Sniper Coil. Uh, like I said, I've hunted up in here so many times, probably about 20 times. Um, and this is the smallest coil. What I like about the smaller coils is you can get in there amongst all the trash. There's whole area is full of so much iron and stuff uh, with whatever homesteads that were here at one time I think they might have bulldozed part of this over and then I don't know if there was a fire or if they just burnt the trash but just not sure but it's cool first find let's see if we can find anything else All right, second target. There was three items in this hole. Um, this is like copper right here, very thin. And then two pieces of iron. Got one square now. And I don't know what that other piece of iron is. But uh, yeah, um, seems to be getting amongst the iron really well. Uh, able to get in between. Um, so hopefully we'll get something that 
uh, really good that I might have missed. Uh, the thing is, is when you're using a larger coil in a, in, um, a really, really trashy area, you're going to miss a lot because you've got so much metal in the, in the um, ground. What this coil helps you to get kind of in between those iron and, and that trash target and uh, zero in on some of those where when you're using a larger coil, it's, it's probably going to ignore, if you're using any kind of discrimination, you're going to, uh, with that bigger coil going over that target, you're going to miss those little, little targets, uh, especially those coins wedged down, way down in there, between iron and trash. So uh, let's see what else we can find. Alright, um, this is what, the third hole? Um, I still have something in the in the hole. I'm still fishing around. There's so much iron in this one hole. Um, so if I get anything good out of the hole, I'll let you know. But so far, I wanted to show you how much iron I've gotten out of here. It's just everywhere. So I'm going to put all this in the pouch. I've got some square nails, some, some sort of wire, uh, these long pieces of iron whatever that is um there's just loads of it here's another piece um but look at all the pottery they've got i've got this really thick pottery here that came out of the hole first and then this piece it's neat it's got like a, a little design on it but check this out this came out of the hole too looks like some sort of stopper or lid to maybe one of those glass jars. I'll see if I can, uh, it's got a W on it. Um, I don't know if it was rubber, what exactly. Um, but it came out of the hole too. Um, let's see if I can get any info off that, I'll let you know. But uh, I'm gonna poke around here some more. If I get anything good out of the hole, I'll let you know. But there's still a lot of metal in the, this one hole. But I am getting a peak signal. So maybe there's something good in there. All right, I'll let you know. Check it out. I just got a marble in this hole. I can't tell if it's glass or clay. I uh, can't tell much about it yet. Probably glass. It's an older one though. Um, anyway, I'm getting a high pitch in here. I've already pulled out like five nails. Uh, so I'm going to keep probing around that last hole there was just a little piece of melted le uh, lead in there um, let's see if I can get this out but I wanted to show the show you the marble if it's anything good I'll show you if not I'm just gonna keep on uh, metal detecting here I don't have much time and I'm dripping in sweat it's 90 degrees uh, even though the sun's going down <laughs> all right I'll see you on the next all right, so I was getting a solid 80 signal and from right down here I don't know that's about three three and a half inches. I just popped this uh, Thought we would reveal it together. It looks like a big button. It does look like a two-piece. So uh, uh, I do see some writing here on the back. So uh, Let's hope it's something good um, Let's go ahead and turn it over Oh, yes, yes, yes. Hot dog. It's a great seal button. Oh, yeah. It's a little dented in right there. This is like my second coat button of the year. And then I've gotten a couple great seals already this year. The smaller cuff buttons. But this one would be a coat button. Uh, I'll have to look at the... Uh, Riding on the back, get it cleaned up when I get home and, and see if it's World War I or World War II. I'm not sure. But uh, awesome find. I've detected this area a lot. There's just so much trash. And i um, super excited to have that button. And uh, we will... So many rocks here. We'll... Um, the sun is going down. And... Uh, I've only got about 10 more minutes to hunt and I gotta start heading back to the car. So uh, let's hope we can find something else here. 
See you on the next. All right, not very deep. I was getting a solid 70 something. And I got the end of a spoon and it's shining like it could be silver. Yeah, look at that. I think I just got a part of a silver spoon. Whoops, sorry. Uh, it's got a neat design there. Whoops. Dropping stuff. It wasn't deep at all. It was right in here. Um, sweet. Beautiful design. All right, I'll get that cleaned up more at home and uh, see if I can get any more information on, on that. But uh, sweet fine. Silver, I think. Looks like it anyway. And by the way it was hitting, it was hitting so solid. The really high coin silver sound. So, all right. I'm going to hunt in here just a little longer. Look at that. Oh, that's a really old bottleneck. Oh, corker. Okay. I'm going to hunt in here just a little longer. Uh, sun's almost set. So, uh, as soon as it gets any longer, I'm going to have to call it quit. It's way down behind the tree line now. So, uh, just a little few more minutes here and uh, I'm going to head back to the car. All right. Hopefully I'll find something else before I leave. Silver. Hey friends, Gypsy here. I'm out um, at a spot I hunted last year. Um, a lot, a lot, a lot, over and over. And I've hunted uh, over the years. And it's, I found some really old stuff here. Um, but there's so much trash and iron and other stuff uh, in the ground that I thought I would bring uh, my super sniper coil out. This is the second time I've used it. And I uh, wanted to bring it out today and try it on the Garrett AT Max. And um, I just came out here. I don't know if you can see the pottery on the ground, pottery and glass and stuff. I just got a signal here, popped it. I got my first signal um, today. And it's the end of a pocket knife. So, uh, good sign that there's still stuff here. So, uh, I'm going to hunt around here and see what else I can pull out. It's so grown up right now, I'd probably have to wait. Um, we've had so much rain. This is the first sunny day we've had in weeks. Uh, I'm thankful for the rain, but at the same time, I uh, haven't been at to, able to get out much. But, uh, I'm going to see what I can find here and... Um, hopefully I can get on to something good. We'll see you on the next. All right, right beside this huge cactus. Got to be really careful. And I just popped a huge rock. This was underneath the rock. Not sure exactly what it was, but it is like uh, brass. Some type of handle. I don't think it was a buckle, but. Not sure. Anyway, neat find. Um, yep, right there. Gotta watch out for these cacti. They will bite you. All right, on to the next. All right, I was getting a really good signal up in the uh, high seven. I mean, a high 70s, low 80s, and just pulled this. I'm not really sure what the heck this thing is. But, uh, interesting. I never found anything quite like that. <coughs> Sorry. It's down there pretty far. I'm going to see if there's anything more in there. It was a pretty good signal. So, uh, anyway, I'll let you know if anything else good. There's definitely more in the hole, but it could be just uh, iron nails and stuff. I've already pulled a lot of iron out of here. Nails. I was getting a lot of glass out of here though. So, um, anyway, let's see what else we can find. All right, just got this. Looks like maybe the back side of a watch or a lid to something, I'm not sure. My first guess is watch, but I'll clean it off, see if there's any writing. All right, on to the next. 
I just got this. It's got some writing on it. Not sure what it says yet. Let's see. Sorry. Owners. Maybe you can read it better than me. Something. Address inside. Names and address and, and addresses inside. Huh. Interesting. Wonder what that went to. All right. Hmm. All right. Well, interesting. Just uh, keeping on plugging along here. See what else we can find. Hey, folks. I just popped this. Uh, is this a round button? I mean, a flat button. Uh, dandy button. Uh, looks like there's a shank there. It's very thin. Um, and these parts you don't find uh, many flat buttons because this area wasn't settled till like the 18 or started settling until the 1850s. So um, I'll get it cleaned up. See if there's anything on there. My uh, bag is full. I can't get down to my brush. Oops, sorry. I have to fall over here. Um, but uh, if that is, it's going to be my very first. If it's a flat button. Well, it's definitely a flat button. <laughs> you know what I mean. Period. Um, so, uh, awesome find for me. Uh, on to the next. Hey there, folks. So, time for the wrap-up. I'll do a super quick uh, wrap up here. Uh, these are pretty much what I found. These were two different hunts uh, with the small coil in this super trashy area. Um, so uh, these were pretty much my good finds over here. Um, I don't know if that's a buckle frame or what. This was the very first thing I found. I still didn't really clean it up. I'm not sure what it is exactly. Maybe somebody some of you know, um, did get some modern coins, um, part of a knife, whatever this thingy is, I think it's brass, um, but, um, uh, yeah, lots of stuff, this is my trash over there, um, I just dumped my pouch, so there's a lot of dirt in there too. <clears throat> This is a piece of uh, iron stove along with some other miscellaneous iron. Um, this right here is an old uh, Prince Albert can and uh, tobacco. Then uh, down to the cool finds. Uh, some of these I'm not exactly sure what they are. Um, got this car. It is blue and it has a number five on it. I couldn't quite make out anything in there. Um, it's more than likely from the 60s or 70s. I don't think it's that old. Um, I'm really not sure what this went on. I was sure hoping for some writing on it, but I can't make out anything. I've looked and looked at it. Um, I think it's copper. It's just neat looking. I don't know what it went to. Um, my marble. And, uh, gosh, I can't remember what that universal, I think, is that had on it. And, um, down to my favorite finds, I got this, um, I think is my very first flat button ever. It's got a bent over shank. I have, uh, never found a flat button, um, in the area in Texas I live. Uh, most of the stuff I hunt is mostly um, oldest is late 1800s, um, early 1900s to modern. So I don't find many of the colonial stuff uh, or much at all actually with the age of this area that was settled. So um, that that's a bucket lister for me. So I'm excited about that. Um, 
Then I've found several of these buttons, in fact, several this year. Um, from what I can tell, according to the back mark, let me look at my note here. It was, it's called um, New Rochelle, uh, New York. I think the company was founded in 1907. Um, but I think this one, according to the back mark, is World War II, not World War I. But uh, I love finding the Great Seal uh, buttons. I really like the coat buttons. They're bigger, larger than the small cup buttons. But I uh, already found several this year, so I um, may have to put together a full case with just these uh, style buttons. Then I uh, got a little piece of back of a watch, and then down to my only silver for this hunt uh, was this silver piece of spoon. It is solid. Um, from what I can tell, the style, it dates back to the 1800s. But uh, what's really neat about this piece, it is personalized. It has P-E-B initials right there. And then it has this beautiful carving design etched in it. The flowers and all the beautiful design there. But P-E-B makes you wonder who who actually used this spoon last and and uh, yeah, wonder what they ate with it. Anyway, some porridge. <laughs> anyway, uh, it was a, a fun hunt getting to use that smaller coil. Um, and uh, thank you, uh, Garrett, for providing me with uh, the small super sniper coil. Super excited about having it. Uh, to use on my AT Max as well as my AT Pro. So, and I just wanted to thank you all for watching. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe and hit that bell so you get all the notifications of my upcoming future hunts. Thanks again. Bye bye.